Hey everyone, Eddie Zamora, the Yum Yum Foodie here, and this is the second part of my series, Cook Once, Eat Three Times, and what I'm gonna make is a combination of two of my favorite things for my first dish. Cuban sandwich and nachos. All right, so now it is time to build our Cuban sandwich nachos. Instead of tortilla chips, I am going with sweet plantain and salty plantain chips, so I can get that sweet and salty thing going on. I've got Swiss cheese, I've got sweet ham, I've got red onions, some tomato. Uh, instead of traditional pickles, I'm using cornichons, which are these like little mini pickles. I slice them real thin. I just think it's nice to have little mini bites of pickle throughout your nachos. And then of course, the star of the show, my slow cooker mojo pork, uh, which the recipe is in here as well. It's just like, yeah, nobody wants to watch me throw a bunch of stuff in a slow cooker. So my slow cooker mojo pork, nice versatile. You're gonna see how I'm gonna use this three times this week, including this dish. So let's start with building our nachos. First thing I'm gonna do is, I've actually sliced my sweet ham in, in quarters. So I'm gonna do a layer of sweet ham down at the bottom. So right on top of my chips, you've got your layer of sweet ham. And this is, I mean, traditionally in Cuban sandwiches, we use a sweet sweet deli ham. If you have a, a choice over some, you know, for something else and you can't find the sweet ham, that's fine. Again, make this your own. You know, these are times where we don't necessarily know what we're gonna find at the supermarket, and uh, we gotta use what we have readily available at home. So, now that I've got my layer of sweet ham, I'm gonna do a layer of Swiss cheese on top. Cover everything, because nachos and cheese is the thing to do, and it's not a Cuban sandwich if it doesn't have Swiss cheese. It's also not a Cuban sandwich if it doesn't have yellow mustard, but I can't bring myself to put yellow mustard on nachos, I'm just, I'm sorry, I can't do that, so I'm skipping the yellow mustard. Maybe you could put some Dijon mustard if you like that, but I'm gonna skip on the yellow mustard. Then I am gonna put my slow cooker pork on top, and I am very, very generous with the amount of slow cooker pork that I put all over my nachos. That's right, do not be bashful in that realm of how much you put on there. I like to spread it evenly across. Then I'm gonna put some of my onions across the top. Yeah, there we go. Onions, let's get again with our cornichons, our little pickles. Of course, you can use regular deli pickles as well. This maximizes so you don't have fighting over that bite of nachos with the big pickle on it. Everybody has a bite with some pickle. Then tomato. Little sucker got away. Some tomato. All right, go a little bit more with the onions. I, I love onions. You can go a little bit less with the onions, of course. And then last but not least, I got some more Swiss cheese and I just cut them into smaller pieces and I'm gonna distribute that over the top of my nachos to create another little layer of cheese because as far as I'm concerned, you can't go wrong with cheese because whatever, I love cheese. There it is my last little cap of cheese. And there is one more thing that is gonna go on top of these nachos at the end. And it's a it's like a mojo drizzle. It's different than the mojo marinade that I used on my slow cooker pork. And this is something that I'm gonna put hot right at the end. It's similar for my Latinos, uh, really similar to what you put on top of yuca. It's actually pretty much the same thing as what you put on top of yuca. And the recipe for that is, is in here as well. So now, my nachos are ready to go in the oven, 350 degrees for about 10, I mean, 10 to 15 minutes. I know that's a big range in the oven. You just wanna make sure because everybody's oven is different. So keep an eye on it. You want the cheese to melt. And if you're really boss, you can maybe put this in the broiler at the end and get a little burnt on that cheese. Cause I, I don't know about you, but I love a little burnt cheese. So anyway, 350 in the oven, it's gonna go in now. Cuban sandwich nachos, and they smell incredible. Last but not least, I've got my mojo dipping sauce, or my little mojo sauce, so I'm gonna pour some of that on top. Get the garlic all over, oh my goodness. You hear the sizzle? That's right. And then we're gonna top just with some fresh parsley. Why, because I think it looks pretty. That's, that's pretty much it. Get, here, give me all that parsley. Parsley sticking to the bottom. Okay, 
So you're not gonna see me eat this right now because I've only got one of these and it looks beautiful so I have to photograph it now. Then I'm gonna inhale this. So there it is, my Cuban sandwich nachos. Enjoy, my next dishes will be coming out later this week. Cook once, eat three times using that slow cooker mojo pork. All the recipes are on the yumyumfoodie.com or right here in this post, you're gonna find it.